Jack and Daxter was platforming with a side order of adventuring, Ratchet and Clank is fighting with an extra portion of platforming. Ratchet is your guy, incidentally, while Clank is the metal sidekick, clinging to his back. We won't fail you, sir. We promise. Your objectives come in the form of missions as you travel new worlds in a quest to collect nuts and bolts and save a whole series of planets. It's a variation on a pretty ancient theme, but it works well and we like it. The missions are never anything taxing enough to ruin the pace, consisting mainly of finding things and taking them somewhere else. But it's the style and imagination in the enemy design that's so engaging. They're cute without being lame, and cartoony without being totally childish, especially as the game progresses and their attacks become more complex. The worlds are designed so that they feel more open than they really are, so although Ratchet & Clank is actually quite linear, it rarely seems that way. The stack of gadgets at your disposal adds more variety to the mix, letting you swing across certain voids, for instance, or have a go at simple yet engaging mini-game puzzles in order to hack electronic locks. You certainly can't fault the graphics either, which are insanely sumptuous. However, the respawn points are just too widely spaced. to collect enough of the re-energizing blue orbs and taking too much damage can result in some lengthy bouts of step retracing. Ratchet & Clank is a beautiful looking, beautifully realized take on carefree platforming combat. Don't be put off by its kiddie looks, it's fun and that's what matters.